famous country singer Willie Nelson recently revealed an unexpected truth about his legendary friend Chris Christopherson. This remarkable confession dispels myths regarding their bond and provides a new angle on their military background. This discovery, which will append the foundations of their comprehension of the two legends, is something that fans are anxiously awaiting. Chris's military upbringing with a different aspiration is one you will not want to miss. The son of an Air Force officer, Chris Christopherson was born in Texas and had big plans for his future. Chris, who had been in the military, had a different idea. Due to his father's military transfers, he spent his childhood living in many locales until relocating to California. He attended Pomona College, where he aspired to become a writer, and studied in San Mateo. When he was 17, he won some awards for his stories. Chris was an athlete who participated in track and field and rugby football in addition to his studies. Due to his exceptional academic performance, he was granted a special scholarship to attend Oxford University in England. He also changed his name to Chris Carson in an attempt to pursue a career as a singer. His family wanted him to enlist in the army after he finished his education, so he did. He enlisted in the military and completed training to become an officer and a helicopter pilot. He even taught English at the West Point Military Academy for a while. In order to pursue music and become a songwriter, Christofferson made the decision to quit the army. Despite the disapproval of his family, Chris had to follow his instincts. In order to make ends meet, he moved to Nashville, the nation's music capital, and took any job he could find. He continued to treasure his goal. He urged June Carter to deliver a cassette of his songs to Johnny Cash after they met one day at the studio where he worked. Cash simply stacked it with all the others in a large pile. He spent a week flying helicopters in Louisiana at this time, then traveled to Nashville to try to sell his tunes before returning to Louisiana to continue writing. Some of his anthems, including Help Me Make It Through the Night, were released during this period. Bobby McGee's well-known account of how Christopherson caught Cash's attention sums it all up. Christofferson's compositions served as inspiration for Johnny Cash, who won a big prize in 1970 for penning one of his favorite songs. The Lone Star legend Willie Nelson was born on April 29, 1933, however his birth date is listed as April 30th. His family had a fascinating past, including a brother who was a major named John Nelson. When Willie was just six years old, his grandfather bought him a guitar and he and his sister Bobby started performing gospel music at the neighborhood church. Willie's songwriting career started when he was just seven years old. At the age of nine, he started playing guitar for a local band called Bohemian Pa. He started making his own money singing at honky-tonk clubs, taverns, and dance halls when he was 13, honing his craft and boosting his self-esteem. Willie was influenced by a wide range of musicians, including jazz greats Django Reinhardt and Louis Armstrong, smooth musicians like the Smooth Boys, and country musicians like Hank Williams and Ernest Tubb. Sinatra, Frank in the late 1960s, Willie participated in the Outlaw Country Revolution. Together with his sister's husband Bud Fletcher, he founded the band The Texans, which played in roadhouses and had a Sunday morning spot on a local radio station. Willie had a short military career after high school, serving for just nine months because of back problems. In 1952, he married Martha Matthews and returned to civilian life, although he chose to focus on his love of music. Nelson held a number of occupations, including playing in Johnny Bush's band, Auto Parts Man, Saddle Maker, and Nightclub Meatball Maker. Dr. Ben Parker of KBOP, the station's owner, employed him after he relocated to Pleasanton, Texas. SG Records, a local label, rejected him, but he kept up his radio career, working in Denton and Fort Worth. He had a nightclub musician, a Sunday school teacher, and the West Express in Fort Worth. Willie Nelson's dream of becoming a pitcher was saved by a kind-hearted truck driver who gave him $10 for the Portland bus ticket and volunteered to transport him to any bus station. He was able to reach his goal thanks to this deed of charity. Like fellow outlaw country singers Johnny Cash and Wayne Jennings, Willie Nelson and Chris Christopherson's music careers took off after they joined a skilled group of musicians. They brought about a revolution that would permanently change the landscape of country music. Willie and Chris both wanted to return to the basics by the late 1960s because they were sick of the heavily manufactured Nashville sound. Their songs frequently caused the people to shift uneasily in their cowboy boots, and they aimed to sing about the working man and the man and lady in the street. 
Chris Christopherson's songwriting during this time was nothing short of groundbreaking. For instance, Sunday Morning Coming Dow struck a chord with the audience, who were becoming more and more disenchanted with the slick, polished pop country genre, since it was honest and crass. Chris personified a generation by fusing tales of love and grief with the inside of a thinker, and his smash song Me and Bobby McGee became a synonymous with country music as a cowboy hat. Although their friendship began in the recording studio, it was solidified by the realities of the music industry. Being as pig-headed as mules when it came to their art, both chose to abandon the glitter of Nashville and go down the real-life path. No matter the repercussions, rejection or shrinking, they would not alter. The Highwaymen were a supergroup formed in the 1970s by Willie Nelson, Chris Christopher, Wayne Jennings, and Johnny Cash. The song that earned them the moniker Highwaymen became the Rebels' theme song, and they delivered some of the greatest songs of the time. But their bond went beyond simple cooperation, they were comrades in arms. On the road, they talked about life music and the benefits and drawbacks of celebrity for hours on end. Willie Nelson's new revelations have exposed Chris Christopher's private battles, which were previously concealed problems. Despite producing numerous songs and receiving a great deal of love from fans, Chris has been plagued by feelings of regret and shame. A traveling musician's life revolved around being on the road, so he wished he could have spent more time with his family, especially the children. In his final years, Chris was plagued by this remorse. Willie and Chris's narrative is one of hope in addition to sadness and regret. It provided both of them with support and a haven from the storm of fame and all of its associated tribulations. When Chris was unable to handle her past alone, Willie was there for her no matter what, offering friendship and support. They never lost the chemistry or the unique magic they used to do whenever they met as they grew older. In music, Willie and Chris demonstrated that age is but a number. One of the most poignant scenes in the film was when they demonstrated how they supported one another in their recovery programs. Both guys struggled with alcohol, and they were aware of the daily struggle to continue being a tea tolerator. After the temptation struck, they looked to one another for encouragement, and after each day without alcohol was counted, they looked to one another for congratulations. As they grew older and attained seniority, they remained devoted to their careers, their friendships, and the values that characterized them as officers for many years. Even though Chris Christopherson is no longer with us, his enormous influence will live on in every word and note that contributes to the narrative of country music. Those who strum strings on a guitar and sing around campfires will never forget his songs, which will go up the hills and down the heartlands in the past and present. So viewers, for the next update please subscribe to our channel, thanks for watching.